Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well and safe during lockdown. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Andy, I help out on Thursday nights at Bite, and today we're just sat in a field near a forest outside my house. It's a nice bit of forest for you. My house is somewhere over there. Um, it's a really nice area, I'm very lucky to live here, and I just love sitting outside and it's a great place to be able to watch the birds. Today I'm hoping to spot an eagle, but I'll probably have to settle for a red kite being in Reading. Um, it would just be nice to watch them swooping around in the air, um, following on the air currents and just make it look so simple and so easy. Um, not just being a bit weird here, um, it is part of our like illustration that we're looking at in the Bible today. Um, so yeah, we're going to move on to the reading now. Uh, I'm going to read from Isaiah chapter 40 verses 27 to 31. So if you'd like, you can grab your Bibles and follow along. Here we go. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, these words from the book of Isaiah, they were written during a great time of trial and discouragement for God's people in the Old Testament. Uh, they'd just been defe defeated in a terrible battle with another nation, and they were now caught living as exiles in the most powerful empire of the time, that's Babylon. They had heard of a promise from God that they still had a purpose as God's people, and that they would eventually get to go home to Jerusalem. However, when you're stuck in exile, decades at a time, and it actually ended up lasting 70 years, you're going to start to grow weary of your situation. How can you be confident in that kind of situation that God's promises will be fulfilled? Can you be sure that they'll be delivered when captivity drags on for so many years? One of God's promises in this passage that we just read is that for those of us who hope or wait with expectant faith in him, that he will strengthen us in the face of all difficult situations. Even when problems are so tough that the strongest in society are overwhelmed, or the young people, the strength of the Lord will sustain us and allow us to come through with the confidence that God is in control. Waiting in God isn't always easy. Sometimes it can feel as if those things move like incredibly slowly. Um, if you ever feel like you just need help waiting on God for this strength, um, I'm sure Dan won't mind saying that you can get in touch with him or any of the other leaders for some like real practical advice on how you can do that. Ultimately, in our Old Testament story, God's people were delivered and they were able to return to Jerusalem and they rebuilt their temple. Let's fast forward to now. There's a very obvious tough situation affecting many people at the moment with the current coronavirus pandemic. Of course, this is only one among a number of difficulties. There are broken families, broken relationships, droughts, plagues, poverty, amongst many other terrible things. Our faith in God, it doesn't just magic these things away. However, he can give us the strength to not be overwhelmed and discouraged in the face of all of this suffering. In the midst of our current problems, there is hope. God promises that there'll be a day for his people when death, pain and crying will be no more. I'd love to encourage you all to read the rest of this chapter when you can. Uh, it's Isaiah 40. It's just a wonderful reminder about many of the characteristics of our great God. It reminds us he's bigger than the oceans. He's stronger than all of the world leaders that we see. He can even weigh the mountains if he wants. He's created all of the stars we can see in the night sky and calls them all by name. Despite all of his awesome power on this huge scale of the entire universe, God knows, loves and cares for every single one of us, like a shepherd tending to their flock. This is the God who, when we look to him and wait, he keeps the promise of providing strength when our own is not enough. Thank you, God. Uh, now I'll just say a quick prayer before rounding off with a quick challenge for the day. Dear God, Please help each of us in our difficulties during this lockdown time. For those with the fear of returning to schools, those with increased anxiety, those with difficult home situations, and for those of us who are mourning, we just pray, God, for an outpouring of your strength in each of those situations. Help us to show your light and your love to all of those who we spend time with. We're sorry, God, for the times where we don't turn to you, and instead we try and rely on our own strength to deal with our problems. Please help us to remember you when we're facing such difficulties. Thank you that your strength is always enough, and we pray that we will continue to be patient whilst waiting for you, Lord. Thank you that through the strength you give us, we can overcome our troubles and hardships. Thank you that we can have confidence that nothing in your creation, 
Nothing in heaven or earth can separate us from your great love. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave you with a little challenge. Uh, super simple today. We're literally just going to do some sitting and waiting. Find a spot. Um, outdoors is great if possible, but I'm sure indoors works just as well. Just sit. Just concentrate. Watch your surroundings for a minute or two. Um, you'll probably start to notice after 20 seconds or so, like, new things continue to grab your attention. Things that you just wouldn't have noticed if you were taking a glance at the scene, um, just rushing through with life. Yeah. That's it. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, I can't wait to see you all again soon and we can gather again. God bless you, everyone. Bye.